Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this platform, this is the channel where we look at the soul connections and energy around some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. If you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for helping in its continued growth. In this reading, we are going to be looking at the beautiful love story between Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London. For this particular reading, I'm going to use an additional deck. I'm going to use my Starseed Oracle deck. Um, I do not consider myself a medium, just an empath who um, has strong energetic abilities. And so I channel that through the tarot. And I just think that this deck will help us connect to an energy that is no longer here on the earth plane as we look at this beautiful love story. So as always, these readings are just my energetic opinion and are not based on actual facts or receipts and should never be used as a vehicle to send hate or accusations to celebrities. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London. Okay, so we got three cards. Wow. Breath of Cosmos, my will to thy ooh, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. The intelligence of the universe lies within you, child of the cosmos. And then big picture thinking, visionary inspired ideas. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful okay, just look at this trajectory of cards. Yeah, this is Nipsey coming through, a child of the cosmos. So what this is saying is he is hardly done doing work here that is impacting us on the earth plane. He's hardly done. He's doing so much on the other side. And the breath of the cosmos, it's like he... The way that this is going to show up in the 3D is through this anchoring of this love that he had with Lauren London and giving her the ability to use this bigger picture thinking, this Pleiades energy to guide her into, you know, working together, essentially, from two different angles and creating love, knowledge, just like the intelligence of the universe bringing in these energies into our present reality. So I just feel like, I know that that sounded very, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, grandiose, but I there's a lot that he is doing, I feel, energetically on the other side. And it's really beautiful. It's really profound. Um, it's like, it takes me back <laughs> and my heart feels like light. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot. He's like this bluish purpley God-like being. All right, we have one jumper, more blue, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, his consciousness is off the charts, off the charts. Oh, oh okay, this is Lauren's energy coming. Well, both of them potentially. All right, so we have two more jumpers. The Queen of Cups, okay, absolutely. This is Lauren's energy with the Three of Swords in reverse. So painful, so painful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to move these so that we can make room for the tarot.
the Prince of Discs with the Two of Swords, the Four of Discs with the World, the King of Discs with the King of Swords. Yeah, consciousness through the roof. The Seven of Swords. He taught her how to think with the Ten of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Swords. Oh my, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> the energy is just all over the place and I'm a clumsy person. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm very clumsy. And the Princess of Cups in reverse. Okay, there's already a lot with these cards. I think I will pull a row of clarifiers, but um, let's talk about these before I do that. And then we have the Two of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So, okay. So for the jumpers and the card at the bottom of the deck, the jumper was the Ace of Swords. This is definitely coming through as Nipsey's energy when I said like his consciousness is through the roof and he's still doing a lot of work on the other side that is having impacts here on the earth plane. And it's because he's coming through as like Christ consciousness clear, um, like was so meant, even though it's heartbreaking, was so meant to transition because of how powerful he actually is and how much that is needed on the other side, like this sense of power, because he comes through uh, in the tarot here as the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords together. So this is that confirmation that this high consciousness that he has is still having effects here on the earth plane that are, that are creating security. This is also about, um, yeah, a new sense of security and a new way of thinking, um, this is about creating like longevity. When I when I say longevity, I want to say like um generational wealth is the word that comes to mind, but I'm not just talking about wealth in the financial sense. I'm talking about wealth in in the energetic sense, a wealth of love, uh, just an abundance, abundance abundance frequency that's what we're gonna call it abundance of all things and then we have the queen of cups and the three of swords in reverse for lauren this is just just her broken heart like this no matter no matter how much she has grown from this situation it's never gonna not be painful and so the two of wands in reverse this is the card that i feel like i need the most clarification on and so i'm going to save this two of wands as we continue to go through the reading and we'll come back because i'm wondering what it is energetically that is at a, a standstill it might just be you know the romantic physical aspect of their relationship because of the transition that's what i'm getting from it initially but let's get into it so here we have Nipsey's energy and the shared energy in between them, but that is really largely governed by Nipsey. He is really anchoring her here in the 3D and then her energy. So this two of swords with the prince or the knight of discs, this is talking about all of the decisions that he had to make um, before transitioning to sort of you know, create this long lasting security in the 3D for his family. And so we have the four of discs, that security again, and the world, it's because of this abundance consciousness that he was meant to create and really did so. Like there is no um, unfinished business energy coming through in this reading. He did what he was supposed to do and is still doing it. But the way that this is being mirrored, the most interesting part is the way that it's being mirrored for Lauren because we have the Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is this is speaking to this loss of a beautiful love and family unit, but was given a sharp, keen mind. Like he had such an impact and an influence on her consciousness and the way that she thinks. It's like there is absolutely nothing that can get past this woman there is no weapon formed against her that will ever prosper type of vibes like the way that she is protected through him and by him and from what he has given her is is 
the greatest gift despite that you know there is this loss of this beautiful family unit and the ten of swords here that is coming over the princess for the page of cups is just talking about the the sudden ending of the romantic connection between the two of them which i this is what this two of wands in reverse was giving me that like this is just at a standstill until next time you know and so there's always that underlying feeling of loss so let's go ahead and pull some more clarifying tarot jumper was the prince or the knight of wands and this is i feel like this is a message from him to her like number one you stay looking good <laughs> that's what came to my head <laughs> you stay looking good and i always i'm I just you're always it for me like it's you for me <laughs> if this ever reaches lauren london that's the way it came across but he's like it's the you for me Period. <laughs> mm, the Two of Cups. Yeah. This is doing something to me. <laughs> he loves her. Oh. Oh, that just hurts my soul. Oh, he misses their family. The three of, but the three of pentacles is also speaking to, we're still a team. We're still a team. We're still married, you know, two of cups. Our, our marriage really just never ended. It's just different now. The five of wands in reverse. Yeah, any kind of, any kind of destructive energy around her, he dissipates. He moves, you know, he makes sure that it doesn't harm, come harm to her. Yeah, four swords. She has to come into a place of peace. It's probably so hard. Rest, 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 rest. Her soul needs so much rest. Her mind needs rest, meditation, all of that with the princess of discs yeah but he equipped her this is her being equipped she can do this and the six of pentacles in reverse is just talking about how they both just miss the 3d harmonious connection that they had so let's go ahead and pull from the empath deck to close it out throat chakra he equipped her with the power to speak her truth and to express herself clearly and the three coming through too is like mind body soul you know they are a being in and of themselves like her inner masculine is him and he is just orchestrating through her and speaking through her her throat chakra and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Oh my gosh, you guys will totally be together again. You'll be together always in every life. How beautiful. If you enjoyed this reading, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Uh, what love story you would like to see next here on this playlist on Channeling Chinez. You can connect with me at Official Chinez on TikTok and Instagram, both of which are linked below. And if you are interested in a personal reading, you can find the link to book with me in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.